Computer science is a discipline that spans theory and practice. It requires thinking both in abstract terms and in concrete terms. The practical side of computing can be seen everywhere. Nowadays, practically everyone is a computer user, and many people are even computer programmers. Getting computers to do what you want them to do requires intensive hands-on experience, but computer science can be seen on a higher level as a science of problem solving. Computer science is a topic that requires a lot of practice and patience. It is a topic that, like spoken languages, is easiest if learned early. However, true computer science classes are not offered to most students until they get to college. This is a tragedy in a forever growing technological world. Computer science needs to be introduced to students in their first year of high school, not college. Learning basic programming and computer science skills before high school is extremely beneficial for university students. The students that have taken optional computer science classes in high school already have a better understanding of the material and the topic in general before taking any college classes. Even outside the major of computer science, these skills taught would boost productivity in most other majors as well because all professions require the use of technology in the modern world. None of the four people in our group took a programming or computer science class before college. Though we haven't had any terrible difficulty, we believe other students who have taken these courses in high school are able to grasp the ideas presented in class more easily and quickly. Consequently, our group came into our programming classes having to learn Java from scratch, which put us at a disadvantage to other students who had previous experience in high school. The following individuals are experts in the field of computer science. The first person that has been interviewed is Devanch Desai, a sophomore at UNC Charlotte, who has been learning to program since his freshman year of high school and eventually became a teacher assistant. Studying computer science in the early stage is so important. Um, I think it's the, it's the part where you actually need to focus. Um, it's like the basics of programming or like basics of a new language I'm learning. So like if it takes you four years to understand or learn English, like if you're one year old and it takes you like four years to say like mommy, daddy, and then you start understanding it, um, it, sh it should take almost one, one and a half year to understand a new language after that. So like if you're learning Java or something, it should take you like one, one and a half year to get proficient in, in, in it, like understand it like completely well. So it's very important to like learn it ahead of time. Um, computer science should definitely be taught before college because um, as I said computer science is not only coding part but it's logical part more. It's a logical reasoning part where you actually ask yourself how your brain thinks and if you're going into computer science the colleges would actually like to know how your brain thinks using your logics and your grades from that class and they can understand and assess you better and it's actually good for you to know computer science before coming to college as it also helps you learn more languages and keep up with things together. Scott Parker is a portfolio manager and manages software development projects at GlaxoSmithKline, a pharmaceutical company, and has been working in the IT industry for over 25 years. Yeah, so, you know, like I said at the beginning, um, it, it takes a very um, just creative nature because um, a lot of the times you're starting with um, just from scratch. So you need to have almost the skills like an architect or an artist would have to be able to design something and design something simple and elegant and um, also very functional. Um, but then again, as you know, when you're working in this field, it can be very um, math and science um, centric. So you also need to have that part of your personality that enjoys math, enjoys problem solving. Um, and when you put in both those characteristics together, I think you really get the complete package in a programmer. Yeah, 
So I think, um, you know, software development, it, at, at times it can be, you know, a, a very solitary experience where you're trying to solve some complex algorithm and it's just you, heads down, you know, trying to figure out the best way to, to, um, to craft something. However, it's a very, um, it's a very social um, job. So it's, you have to interface with many different people. Your peers, where if you're working on a large complex project, you might be working on the user interface, someone else is working on the back end and the database and the data modeling, someone else is working on something else. But you need to be able to relate to other people, just basic um, communication skills are necessary, and also you need to be able to enjoy people. You can't be, you know, the, the stereotypical computer programmer is, you know, the guy who stares at the shoes at the party and is very introverted. Um, but I think that's not the case. I think it's a, it's a very um, social job and not only do you have to work with your peers well, but you also have to work with the business users who are not um, you know, technical savvy people. You have to be able to dumb down stuff enough and explain it to them in real world terms so that you can understand what, they're being to, um, what you're being asked to deliver and you can also be able to get feedback from them to make and deliver a better product. Matt Lambert is an IT technical support manager for Falcon, an automated soil sampling company for two years. Kenneth Hood has been in the computer science field for 30 years, and he is currently a system application and product software consultant. Um, probably used RPG and ABOP the most, and the difference would be just what platform I'm using them for. I've moved from mid-range to working on SAP systems. Yes. There are many reasons for computer science to be introduced in high school, even as early as middle school. It is a process where the amount of given time will determine a successful outcome of learning a new language. According to the individuals that has been interviewed, it is clear that learning to program before college can help one's ability to understand the concept of coding and decrease the confusion amongst beginners.